Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting Tristan Tries video. Today we are going to be upgrading the Zeus Sephiris G14. This is the mid-tier model and we're going to be upgrading the SSD within here. Before actually installing the SSD into the G14, we need to clone the SSD that is currently within the device so that I will maintain all my files and storage and everything that I already have on it. So to do that, I used a USB Type-C M.2 NVMe enclosure and I installed the new SSD in there and plugged that into the computer. The hard drive cloning software that I utilize is Arconis True Image and I use the WD specific um, version that you can go on the uh, WD website and find a link to it. The steps that I followed I are playing out. have here a WD Blue SN550 NVMe SSD. This is a one terabyte drive. And I'll be replacing the um, current drive that's in there, which is a 512 Intel drive. Um, let me get this bad boy back on here. This is just a thermal pad that I robbed off the um, containment that I had with this. So I'll just put that over there. So to open up the Zeus Zephyrus G14, the first thing you want to do is make sure that it, it is off off and um just keep in mind any warranty concerns uh from my understanding you don't have to uh, worry about your warranty being voided if you replace the ssd as long as you don't break anything so opening up the bottom of this case is not a problem and replacing the ssd i will be keeping the other ssd 512 gigabyte ssd so um that i i don't risk any issues on that front so i will be pulling out the screws and taking taking a look and i'll, I'll do some showing off of what's in here so i'll start with the back so on the back here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen screws i will be keeping those screws relatively close to the what's it called to where they came out. Start with this corner here. If I recall correctly, um, these screws, not all of them come out. I believe one of the corners doesn't come out. So this one does come out. So I'm gonna put this one just right here so that I remember where it goes. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, putting them just along here. Um, normally I would probably put them in a box or something, but um, this is not a very time-consuming upgrade, so I'm just planning on doing it just right quick and just lining them up that way. Ooh, yep. Yeah. So some of these are longer than others. So this one's a long one, so that one goes right here. So keep that in mind. Oh no, this one's also long. Never mind, I lied. Okay, I, I guess I don't know at a glance which ones will be long, which ones will be short. This is why it's important to keep this in mind while you are popping out the screws. You don't want to accidentally try and put a long screw where a short screw should go, or vice versa. And I definitely advise using a magnetic screwdriver. Uh, I've spent, I spent roughly 45 minutes one time trying to put a RTX 2060 into a desktop using a non-magnetized screwdriver. And if you ever want a lesson in patience, uh, that is it. Cause that was the most frustrating computer building thing I've done in a while. And then I am expecting there to be clips. Um, but looks like we pretty much got it out. All right, so if we look over here, I better have been recording this whole time. Uh, so if you look in here, um, I can just do a brief showing of what everything is, or, well, some things. We've got the battery here, of course, right here underneath this paper, or I guess it's paper, 
we have eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, the other eight gigabytes is so, uh, soldered on. We have the fans here, which are a little bit dusty, so I might actually take this opportunity to blow that out. Um, and I believe this is the processor and this is the GPU underneath those heat sinks. And right here is the M.2, which we will be uh, we will be taking off. So it will be uh, unscrewing this screw right here. To remove this, so that is the M.2 screw. See if that just comes out. All right, that did just come out. So it's got a heat sink already attached to it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try and get that off. The heat sink that is attached to the new drive is um, just one that came with uh, the drive that I used to clone it, which is um, a Wei Wan. WAN FOC U. What's I doing? I was going to put in the new SSD, which is this one right here. I'm just going to leave the uh, thermal, what's it called, on. I don't think that should be a problem. And then this was the screw, which I kept separate for a reason. It goes right here. So we'll just do that. Just screw that in. I'm just going to make sure it looks level on here, which it does. We also have the Wi-Fi card underneath there. And, uh, yeah. So that should be pretty much be the upgrade. Uh, I'm going to put the old SSD, which is this right here, put that aside. And then I will rebuild the chassis. why it's good to have your uh, have the locations kind of like in mind as you're as you're going around yeah for popping off the uh, the screws along here it's definitely a good idea to um, use something that's pretty soft, such as the um, this this like screen remover thing that I've got that's very beat up. Um, if you use a screwdriver, there's a good chance you're gonna mark up the side of the of the what's it called of the you're gonna mark up the laptop along here. So just keep that in mind. Use something relatively soft, maybe a credit card or a gift card that you just have no interest in ever using or you've already used, you know. Something like that might work. If you don't have uh, one of those handy dandy tools. What is important is booting this up and making sure that it is working. So we're gonna power it on now and see what happens. See if this was a success. logging in also a good sign all right from what I can tell this is looking exactly the way I left it um, yep so just like that we've got the now are seeing uh, 895 gigabytes on the computer so I've uh, doubled the storage essentially um, in the future, I might upgrade this even further if I, for some reason, I just, you know, find a plethora of two terabyte drives, but I probably won't make another video on this just because thank you for watching Tristan Tries. If you like this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more content related to tech or um, pretty much just about anything that I want to try. That's, that's why we're Tristan Tries. Um, but uh, I will be uploading some other content too. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.